In the ongoing federal criminal trial regarding Donald Trump's alleged attempts to overturn the 2020 presidential election, a significant flaw in the former president's legal defense has been identified. Legal expert Joyce Vance, the former U.S. attorney for the Northern District of Alabama, characterized this aspect of Trump's defense as akin to a futile pursuit, emphasizing that his lawyers are reinforcing the very falsehoods for which he stands accused. Vance expressed her observations on the Stay Tuned with Preet Legal podcast, hosted by former Southern District of New York attorney Preet Bharara. A civil rights attorney echoed Vance's concerns, emphasizing their validity. Donald Trump faces a series of charges related to his actions in response to the 2020 presidential election, including conspiracy to defraud the United States, conspiracy to obstruct an official proceeding, obstruction of an official proceeding, and conspiracy against rights. Trump has consistently pleaded not guilty to all these charges, asserting that they are politically motivated. Attempts to reach out to Donald Trump for comment were made via the press inquiry form on his official website. Trump had unsubstantially claimed the 2020 election was rigged against him and pursued multiple unsuccessful legal avenues to overturn Joe Biden's victory. On January 6, 2021, he addressed a massive Stop the Steal rally in Washington, D.C., just hours before hundreds of his supporters stormed Congress in an attempt to prevent the certification of the election results. In addition to the federal case, Trump is also facing prosecution in Georgia for his alleged involvement in trying to reverse the election results specifically in that state, which he denies. Trump's legal team contends that his statements constitute protected political speech under the First Amendment, asserting that many other Americans expressed similar views. However, Joyce Vance and other legal experts find this argument unconvincing. Vance remarked that Trump's attorney, John Laro, seems to inadvertently reinforce the very falsehoods for which Trump is charged, perpetuating conspiracy theories and fraud allegations. Preet Bharara concurred, noting the irony that Trump associates himself with a multitude of people who believe in election fraud and the stolen election, even though he is the originator of those claims and the one who propagated the rumors, false information, and baseless legal actions. Trial lawyer and civil rights attorney Adante Pointer, a partner at legal firm Pointer and Buelna, Lawyers for the People, supported Vance's viewpoint. He explained that the First Amendment does not grant unrestricted rights to speech, especially if it encourages lawlessness, subversion of laws, or the undermining of democracy and law and order. Pointer asserted that Donald Trump's speech and its effect on his supporters contravene these legal boundaries. While Trump seeks shelter behind the First Amendment, it will ultimately fall upon a judge and jury to decide whether he is granted the immunity he now seeks.